Welcome at Medical Sciences Med by Naftali Mahomza. In this session, we want to know the safe and the fertile days of the menstrual cycle, which starts at the age of 12 up to age of 49 in female. And sometimes these days it's beginning at age of eight because of the lifestyle changes. And how do you know that uh, your menstrual cycle begins from day one up to day 28? Whereby day one is when you see blood flow. When the blood flows, that is your day one. So, and between day one to day four, this is whereby you have your menses, meaning there is blood flow, and we don't expect you to have sexual intercourse with your partner. Then from day five to day nine, these ones we call them semi-safe days. Semi-safe. They are safe, but not so safe. They are 95%. They are not 100. Or we can say even 99%, but not 100. That's why we are calling them semi-safe. Why? Because whenever the sperms reach in the, your fallopian tube, the sperms wait patiently for two to three days. They wait. Whereby for the, for the, for the one responsible for boys wait for only one day, then for girls wait for even three days. So well, that's why we are saying you should stop at day nine, not day up to day 12. Because why, if, if the sperms are released at day nine, they are going to wait for more three days. So it is safe to stop at day nine of your menstrual cycle. Then between day nine, between day nine and day 19, these are fertile days. These 10 days between 9 and 19, they are fertile days. Why, this, why is 10th to 19th fertile days? This is between, it is from 10th. 10th to 19th. They are fertile days. Why? Sperms here, we have seen they wait for 3 days. Even the egg after being released, it also waits. So we are seeing sperms wait for 2 to 3 days. Even the eggs, or what we call the ovum, also waits for 2 sometimes also two to three days. So when it was released, and we see the egg is released at day 14, ovulation occurs at day 14, that is when the egg is released. So the egg is released at day 14 of your menstrual cycle. Released at day 14, 14th day. When you see your menses at day one, blood is starting to flow. From day one, you count up to 14th day. That is when your egg is being released to the fallopian tube. So we are seeing, we are not telling you to have sexual intercourse between 10th to 14th because sperms also wait patiently for three days. Also after the egg being released, it also waits for how many? Three days. So that's why we are saying from day 10 to day 19th, those are fertile days. In case you want to have pregnancy in your marriage, you can always target these days. Make sure in those days you'll be active. Then if you don't want to be pregnant, we see from day 19, from day 20, but for my like day 21 up to day 28. These are called very safe. Very safe days, whereby here you can have your sexual intercourse five times, four times in a day, three times in a day, and you will not conceive. Why? Because we know by day 19, the egg is used up or it is neutralized by the body. So by day 20 to 21, the egg is no longer present in your body. So you cannot have pregnancy between day 21 to day 20. So these are trustworthy days. So in the case you are there and you are failing all family planning methods, you can always try this one. This one can always guarantee you that you not get pregnant. And the year day 21 is when by you start counting when you see the menses or the blood flow. The first time you see the blood flow is your day one of that month. So you count up to day 21. That is when you start your very safe days. Here, 100%, you are guaranteed that you will not get pregnant. But here, between day five and day nine, here you are at risk. You might be at risk in the case of early ovulation. Sometimes the egg can be released on day 13 or day so you might get pregnant.
That is why we are saying they are semi safe. But these ones are very safe because we are sure by day 20 the egg is no longer present. So you can have your sexual intercourse anytime you want. And in, we normally say in the case you are interested in a boy, you are maybe you are looking for a baby boy or is targeted at midnight on day 13. Why? Because the Y chromosome of the sperm is covering the Y chromosome for a boy, they die faster compared to the one carrying the X chromosome for the girl. So, in the case you are interested in a boy, you can determine it by always making sure you have your sex between 12 and 13. Because we are sure that the, the X, the Y chromosome, the sperm carrying the Y chromosome is very faster and dies very fast. So, being very faster, meaning there is a chance, high chances of it reaching the egg before the X chromosome, which is responsible for the girl. Thank you so much for being tuned in. Always remember to subscribe and share to many for them to learn. Thank you so much.